Hello everyone, this is Jeff with The Green Review. Today we're talking about pesticides. A pesticide is a product that is designed to prevent, control, or kill pests. Not all pesticides are used outdoors. There are pesticides designed to kill rodents, insects, fish, and other organisms. The EPA's definition of a pesticide also includes products such as repellents, which may be involved in pest control, but are not directly toxic to the pest. Pesticides may be chemical or non-chemical. The microbial insecticide containing the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT as it's usually listed on the label, is used to cause a flu-like disease that kills many insect species. Different strains of the bacteria are used to kill Colorado potato beetle, mosquito larvae, and caterpillars that eat vegetable crops. So it's a good natural type of insecticide. But virtually all pesticides are chemicals. It is the source of the chemical that many people are overly concerned with. Synthetic chemicals are man-made and can be identical or very similar to naturally occurring chemicals. Most natural chemicals need refining, purifying, or concentrating in factories before they can be used. Organic pesticides are derived from plant or animal sources, while inorganic pesticides come from natural, mineral, and man-made sources. Many people believe that natural or organic chemicals are safer, but that is not always true. The natural insecticide pyrethrum is a little less toxic than the synthetic insecticide 7, and they're both much less toxic than the natural insecticide rotenone. Both of these natural insecticides are made from plants, but it doesn't make them safer. Sometimes synthetic versions of natural compounds are necessary to make them strong enough to work. Sometimes refining removes some toxicity. Crude citrus oils kill fleas, but they also kill cats. Two refined citrus oil compounds, linanol and d limonene still kill fleas, but have a low toxicity to cats. Pesticides can be organic or inorganic. Very few inorganic pesticides are used. Minerals such as borax, boron, copper, nitrogen gas, silica gel, sulfur, tin, and zinc have been used as inorganic pesticides. Organic pesticides may come from plants such as pyrethrins, rotenone, and strychnine. Synthetic organic pesticides include 2,4-D, atrazine, carbaryl, which is called 7, captan, and parathion. All substances, including water, are poisonous at some level of dosage. Pesticides are designed to be poisons. Toxicity refers to a substance's ability to produce injury or death. Toxicity can be acute or chronic. Acute toxicity is poisoning resulting from a single exposure to a lethal dose of the chemical. Chronic toxicity is poisoning from repeated low doses over a prolonged period of time. Most chemicals have the ability to be, produce both acute and chronic toxicity. The human body has the ability to filter out or metabolize many chemicals before they can build up to a poisonous level through, through repeated exposure. There's a lethal dose of water in four to eight liters of water, of caffeine in 200 cups of coffee, of ethanol in a fifth of bourbon, and a lethal dose from aspirin in 100 pills. We're not killed by chronic low doses of these toxic chemicals because the body can expel or destroy the chemicals before they reach the toxic level. Tests for toxicity are performed on laboratory animals. The dose that kills 50% of the animals is called the LD50. If you're a pessimist, LD stands for lethal dose. If you're an optimist, it stands for live dose. If a large quantity of the chemical is required, the chemical has a low toxicity. Since the exposure to pesticides can be through contact, inhaling, or swallowing, each chemical is tested for an oral LD50, a dermal LD50, and an inhalation LD50. Pesticides are rated as high, moderate, low, and very low toxicity. Highly toxic pesticides and other household chemicals must have a skull and crossbones in the words danger, poison, on the label. The oral LD50 of a highly toxic chemical for a 150-pound person ranges from a few drops to a teaspoon. 
A moderately toxic pesticide's oral LD50 is a teaspoon to two tablespoons. A low level toxicity oral LD50 is an ounce to two pounds. Moderately toxic chemicals must say warning, while low and very low toxicity levels require the word caution. All pesticide labels must say keep out of the reach of children. Toxicity alone does not measure the danger of a chemical. Exposure and toxicity together form a chemical's ability to be a hazard. A highly toxic chemical may present little hazard when the formula is a very diluted concentration, or it is formulated to be not to be inhaled or absorbed through the skin, or it's applied under conditions that prevent contact. The opposite is also true. A normally non-toxic chemical can be hazardous if it's used in a form that concentrates it or if it's used in a way that allows contact with the skin or inhalation. Repeated doses of chemicals that break down slowly in the body or that are stored in the body may cause a hazard. Although pesticides are designed to control pests, some exposure to non-pests is to be expected. Chronic exposure, such as with contaminated gloves, makes the body less able to handle acute exposures. Skin contamination is the most common exposure method. Its seriousness depends upon the dermal toxicity of the material, the size of the contaminated area, the length of time, and the rate of absorption. Thin skinned areas of the body, such as the lap, scalp, eyes, and ears, absorb chemicals much faster than the hands. Outdoors, chemicals can contaminate the environment during or after application. Some chemicals are rapidly biodegradable through contact with sunlight, water, and microorganisms. Some chemicals do not break down rapidly and are called persistent. Some chemicals accumulate in living organisms and some do not. Persistent chemicals do not always accumulate. Persistence is often desirable since it offers long-term control of pests and fewer applications. For example, persistent cockroach and ant poisons help prevent reinfestations. Persistence may not be desirable if it increases exposure to non-target organisms. Chemicals can still be measurable at lower concentration levels than are effective for them to work. One concern many people have is if the chemicals in the pesticide cause cancer. Typically to test the chemicals cancer causing potential, it is fed in massive amounts to rodents. Any abnormalities are usually attributed to cancer, even though it could be liver toxicity. The body filters out low doses of many lethal chemicals. So in the test animals, it may be the dosage that is the poison, not the actual chemical. Again, small amounts of a chemical like aspirin may be beneficial, while large doses may be harmful. Toxic chemicals are not necessarily dangerous in their use, but rather in their misuse. A wide range of items fit in this category, from antifreeze to vitamins and from mothballs to air deodorizers. Many hazardous chemicals are not stored or disposed of in an environmentally safe manner. Buying only as much as you need will help you not have to store it at home. Never pour any of these items into the storm drains. Some storm sewer systems empty into grassy detention areas that are used as playgrounds and ball fields. All chemical products for household use have some level of toxicity and hazard. Therefore, use the chemical that is the least toxic and the least persistent while still being effective. Follow all label directions. It is more important to know the safety level of the chemical than whether it is a natural or organic. So what's this mean to me? All substances are poisonous at some level of dosage. Pesticides are designed to be poisons, but other household substances also have acute or chronic toxicity levels. Read all pesticide labels before purchase to see if you can follow the directions for transporting, using, and storing the product. Whenever possible, buy and use the least toxic product. Never use a pesticide until you have diagnosed the problem and have used cultural, biological, and mechanical controls first. And this is Jeff with the Greener View. Thanks for watching.